He's five foot two and he's six feet four. He fights with missiles and with spears. He's all of 31 and he's only 17. He's been a soldier for a thousand years. He's a Catholic, a Hindu, an atheist, a Jain, a Buddhist and a Baptist and a Jew. And he knows he shouldn't kill, but he knows he always will. Kill you for me, my friend, and me for you. And he's fighting for Canada, he's fighting for France, he's fighting for the USA. And he's fighting for the Russians, he's fighting for Japan, and he thinks we'll put an end to war this way. He's fighting for democracy, he's fighting for the Reds. He says it's for the peace of all. He's the one who must decide who's to live and who's to die. And he never sees the writing on the wall. But without him, how would Hitler have condemned them at the cow? Without him, Caesar would have stood alone. He's the one who gives his body as a weapon of the war. And without him, all this killing can't go on. He's the universal soldier and he really is to blame. His orders come from far away no more. They come from here and there, and you and me and brothers, can't you see? This is not the way we put an end to war.